Darling, you send me. Fall is the perfect time to reflect on the changes that we've all experienced. As the leaves change color, I always feel nostalgic and I begin to look back as well as look forward. I wanted to make this vlog as a reflection of the biggest parts of my life in the last year and the way they've impacted me. During the summer, I moved into the Fiji house. Fiji is a fraternity I joined about this time last year in 2017 during my freshman year. At first, I was really intimidated by the whole idea of a fraternity and I would have never predicted that I would join a fraternity, nor that it would become such a big part of my life. I made a lot of great friends through Fiji, both directly and indirectly, and their connections I believe that will last my whole life. When I came into college at UCA, I had already experienced two years of dorm life at the Math and Science School. I was pretty accustomed to the small space and sharing everything with a roommate. My dorm is actually where I met my first new college friend, Logan. Logan was my first roommate in Baritone and we hit it off great despite a lot of differences of opinions. He was a Republican, me a Democrat, etc. But we always found common ground. I really enjoyed living with him and I never minded sharing space with him. Whenever we had issues, we always worked through it and I wouldn't be who I am today without knowing him. I also met Layman during this time because he was both living in Baritone and rushing Fiji at the same time as me. Even though Layman and I are no longer close, he introduced me to my best friend ever, Tiffany. I don't know what I would do without her. We bonded through living in Baritone and college in general. Through Tiffany, I met Natalie, Summer, and Tiffany's boyfriend, Dylan. I would have never met any of them if it wasn't for Fiji. Another huge person in my life is Kinsey. She and I met through a friend that I knew since high school. Tiffany and Dylan, Natalie and Kinsey, all have an apartment now, and I spend the majority of my time over there with them. They're so close, they're more like family than friends. Next summer, I'll start living with them instead of the Fiji house. Through Fiji, I also met so many more people. One of my closest friends in Fiji is Matthew. Matthew started living in the Fiji house at the same time I did. We bonded a lot during the summer. These people form my everyday life. Whenever I reflect back on the last year, I think about how different things would have been had I not put myself in the position to meet such amazing people. My friendship with all of them is a reminder that I have to be strong and confident and put myself out there or I'll never meet anybody new or exciting. I can't reflect on this last year without mentioning my book, a collection of personal poetry I began writing my senior year in the fall. I never had any intentions to write a book, nor did I have any intentions of sharing it with anybody. My book is called Realizing, and it stands as a reminder of the feelings I felt during the transition from high school to college, as well as the anxieties and fear that I learned to understand and eventually conquer. It's a record of me turning grudges into art, which is a habit I plan on keeping. Oh but yeah, Fiji. Living in the Fiji house has been interesting to say the least. Between the constant flow of people, parties, and dishes, I would have never thought I would enjoy living here, but I really do. I sort of agreed to live in the Fiji house accidentally, but I'm glad that I did. Also, money. What have I been doing for work, you ask? Well, I started out as a tutor at Grade Power Learning in October of last year. I worked there through the summer until the franchise here in Conway shut down this summer. I work with a retired teacher named Elaine. She calls herself our mother hen. I also work with Kylie, another student at UCA who I've bonded over with a lot. I say work with because even though the franchise shut down, Elaine, Kylie, and I work together in Elaine's husband's radio station tutoring. As they say, the show must go on, so we never really stop tutoring. Now, the looking forward part. Like I mentioned before, I'll be living with Tiffany in the next year. Kinsey is sadly moving back home to Jonesboro, so she won't be a part of the nightly Mario Kart sessions, ZD baking, or anything like that, but I have a feeling we'll still see her pretty often. Right now, we're beginning to look for a nice four-bedroom house somewhere near campus. I'm finishing up the semester, and classes have definitely been fun. Next semester, I'll be starting Chinese, so I'm really excited about that. I'm also going to be mentoring juveniles as a part of an independent readings class for psychology. I'm looking forward to all the experiences in the next year. Well, until next time.